Okay, we've got pretty similar conditions to yesterday. A chance of some very light precipitation and lots of clouds, as well as cold and a bit of a breeze. Uh, so really not the most uh, pleasant of days. Here's live Doppler 2 HD. You can see that very light precipitation working through the area. A uh, few flurries, even some areas of drizzle this morning. You may need to turn on the windshield wipers for a little bit, but uh, they're not going to be on high by any means. This is very light, and we're not expecting to see any accumulation at all. Satellite radar loop shows the clouds. They are just expansive across the Midwest. There are really not too many breaks showing up at all, and they're going to be with us throughout the day. As we go into tonight, there'll be a better chance that they may break a bit, especially late tonight, and then we should get back to some sunshine for the second half of the week. It's just not going to be today. 35 right now. We will still drop it to the low 30s throughout the morning hours, and then at lunchtime, we're going to be near 33 with clouds. 5 o'clock, 34 degrees, still mostly cloudy. And then in the evening, we may see a few more spots uh, breaking up a bit, but we're going to be down to 31 at 7 o'clock. And the winds today coming in from the north, 10 to 15, so that will add a wind chill. This morning, our wind chills have been in the 20s. It's 35 with that north breeze at 15. You can see our dew point sitting right at 29 degrees. Uh, so it is a colder air mass that has worked into the area. Englewood is 35. It's 36 in Moraine, 35 in Centerville, and 34 degrees in Xenia. Springfield 33. Again, bridges overpasses. Watch as temperatures get close to freezing. We may see some isolated slick spots develop. A wider view shows a very quiet surface map. There aren't any fronts to talk about here. Just that northerly flow over the Miami Valley, and there's an area of high pressure building down. That should bring the return to sunshine as it helps to scour out some of our low-level moisture for tomorrow and Friday. Going into the weekend, we have a warming trend, something to look forward to. This cold air mass is going to pull away from the Miami Valley. We've got a ridge building in across the central part of the country through tomorrow or through Friday that will shift in right over the Miami Valley for Saturday, Sunday, and it's going to stick around for Monday too. So that is going to mean a warm up for us as we head through the weekend. Here's a look at future track lots of clouds, a little bit of light precipitation around through the morning. The precipitation should taper off for the afternoon hours, but we're still going to be mostly cloudy around 5 o'clock. Clouds may break in spots overnight. A better chance of some sunshine tomorrow. We'll start off with partly sunny skies at 7 a.m., and we may even go as far as mostly sunny through the lunch hour tomorrow. 35 the high today, mostly cloudy, a cold a little bit of a breeze and with some drizzle and flurries around through the morning. And tonight we're going to dip down to 25. We will get that cold if the clouds break. If the clouds hold in, we may only hit near that freezing mark. And then 38, the high tomorrow, mostly sunny throughout the afternoon. A little chilly with that breeze, but that warming trend continues into the end of the week. Friday, sunshine and 42. And then Saturday and Sunday, we will be partly sunny and get into the upper 40s, close to 50, still right around 50 degrees on Monday.